So when we talk about the white shark puzzle, we're really talking about the life history puzzle of the white shark. Where they're born, where's the nursery, where do they mate, where do the females gestate, what's the full migration pattern, and where are they foraging? What are they foraging on? And so this whole puzzle of their lives is the data set required to make sure we can move them toward abundance and healthy numbers. We pioneered all our work out in the Pacific, and out there what we found was the sharks were gathering in the fall and early winter at Guadalupe Island, as well as off the Farallon Islands. We believe that's when they come together to mate. So they had this kind of separate fall and winter aggregations with this shared foraging area in the winter. This is how white sharks last uh, over 100 million years. They have two mating sites in a region. If one gets wiped out, the other one can replenish the population. So redundancy in their evolutionary strategy. So as we've moved from that region, we've always wondered, like, you know, would this puzzle repeat itself? We started in the Atlantic in 2012, where we tagged uh, two white sharks, one named Jeannie and one named Mary Lee, up off of Cape Cod. And those sharks immediately came down here off the coast of the southeastern United States. So we scurried down here in early 13, right? And we tagged a shark named Lydia at Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, yeah! That shark never went back to Cape Cod. She went to Canada. And in March of 17, we caught a shark named Hilton, a mature male white shark. Okay, hey, getting blood. And he did not go back to Cape Cod either. He went and was living in Nova Scotia. So it was really like the puzzle is starting to look like the Pacific with some sharks in Massachusetts, some other sharks are up off Canada, but they're all coming down to this same winter foraging area like we saw in the Pacific. So when you start to look at the puzzle in the North Atlantic, what are we seeing as far as putting together the life history puzzle of the Northwest Atlantic white shark? We're looking at two fall aggregations we believe are occurring, one off of Massachusetts, one off of Canada. But we are seeing both of those separate populations over winter down off of the Southeastern United States and the North Atlantic shared foraging area. Is that a baby white shark? It's a baby white! It's a baby white! And uh, we got a good idea of this one birthing site in the New York, New Jersey bite where they spend the first year of their life between there and basically the Carolinas and go back up coastally. So enormous breakthrough. I mean, that's more than we knew about the white sharks from all research combined previous to 2012. So we're close. The scientists want 60 white sharks for the North Atlantic white shark life history puzzle. And right now we're sitting on 35 sharks of the 60 that they want. We are going to win this one. We are going to get them their sample size. We are going to publish their papers. And in less than five years, we will nail down the life history puzzle of the Northwest Atlantic white shark. And that data set is how you can begin the management path toward abundance so our kids eat fish. And this one's going to be happy ending.